This is Road Atlanta. This is the Porsche 992 Cup car. And this is an idiot who forgot to practice and doesn't have a setup. Oh, sh**. Yikes. What a launch! <laughs> so right from the start, we get a really good launch. We pass the car in front of us, who looks like he's standing still. Coming through turn one, everyone's going too wide. We have to be careful. I'm on the outside here, so I should have the advantage around this left-hander. Then I notice we make some contact. So coming through into the S's, I decide to take an off track to avoid any contact with the blue and yellow car and risk an accident. We get a slowdown, but it's so minor, it doesn't matter. Took a hefty off track there to uh, avoid a bit of side-by-side -side action. That was a bit brave of him. So now coming out of turn seven, through turn eight and towards 10A and 10B, which is the chicane. Brake really nice and late, close a little bit in the braking zone, use this left curb, use the right curb, up over the hill, get on the power. Up, whoa, come on, you use all of that grip, get it tucked into the right, and we run a little bit wide. Oh my lord. Quite scary, but we're okay. Oh, I just forgot to have downforce, I suppose. It doesn't help that the last car I drove here was the LMP2. Oh, I didn't get a single second of practice in this. So coming into the S's now, I'm still aware that the cars in front are battling for position, trying to establish themselves. See guys, this is why you practice. Because I feel so lost right now. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I'm quicker than the guy in front of me as that silver car goes off through turn six and runs wide. Just ahead, the number six car has a bit of oversteer on the exit and has to fall back a little bit as I run too wide with this yellow and blue car. Break later than him, and he gives me the corner. Tucking it in, taking the regular line. That's my position. Nice move. On the outside, he got a bit scared on the brakes. He let it happen. Very nice. Through the final turn, this time keeping it in the track limits. Now we've got some clear track ahead of us, so we need to use this and gain time on the cars ahead whilst they battle. Whoa! Car just decided to scare the life out of me for a second there. And there. Woo. A little bit of oversteer out of the exit of five tells me that I do not know what I'm doing. All right, we need to start closing this gap ahead. Which means I need to figure out how to go fast. Only three laps in now, we've gone from P18 to P11. Considering I set a lap four seconds slower than everyone else in qualifying, I'm feeling pretty good right now. Woo. To be honest, I do not fancy defending. Not with my lack of confidence on the brakes. So, um, ideally, the cars behind stay at quite a distance. If you start feeling the car slip, just keep the foot planted, honestly. We are closing this gap, surprisingly. I don't know how, but we are. I'm so focused right now. 
This track is just mental. It's okay, Jim. I'm, I'm working on it. Oh! It's fine. Don't panic. Let's look at him. Power up the hill. Get it straight lined. Brake. Pop it over the curb. On power. Hook it around there. Bring it down the hill. Around the curb. Along the top of this one. Scooch it up onto that one. Left hand curb. Bounce over this. Because the track limits make no sense. With some small errors starting to creep their way in, I noticed that the car behind is rapidly gaining on me. So, we're being gained on. I don't think he's hanging about. Our exit was not quick, but we used more inside curb. The run is wide. Which is exactly what I wanted. And already Where you can see it? just through turn six and seven, this car behind us is significantly quicker. Oh wow, this guy has gained on us so much. With him now flooding my rearview mirror, I'm not focused on the track ahead of me, and I'm letting him distract me. I am intimidated, Jim. I am. In all honesty, I am. He's rapid, and I'm not. He closes the gap so much through turns two, three, four. Coming down towards five, I lose him a little bit, but he's just going to close it again in the braking. We're wide. Oh, I can't get that right. Poor exit out of turn five completely messes up my chances. And here he is again, right in my rearview mirror. He clearly understands something that I don't. Oh. It's in the draft now, there's not much I can do. With him now in the draft, I know that we're going to go alongside. My best bet is to stay on the inside and outbreak him. Car right. So I do exactly that, but we still run too wide, and he gets the inside on the exit of turn 10B. We run too wide through 12. A very risky move, but it goes well. So with some clean racing, I'm happy to lose the position. Oh, good racing. Car gets a little bit light down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Drifting all over the place, but I somehow catch it. Excuse me, tyres. I think I forgot to put my grip hacks on. I don't appreciate my car just turning into a drift car suddenly on the most difficult part of the track. Oh my God, he's zooming away from me. I'm so off pace. Six more laps. I need to find some pace. With six laps left, I'm thinking, if I copy the car ahead of me and use him as my reference, maybe I'll find some more pace. But with another car now behind me and rapidly closing, I'm quite intimidated, and I'm not putting down the pace that I want to. The car ahead messes up through turn three, and I gain on him. But there's not much I can do here to make a pass, so I have to stay behind. Out of five, he somehow still gets a quicker exit than me. And there goes my chance. At this point, I'm really struggling with the feel of the car. We exit turn seven with the car in front of us absolutely flying away. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, 
Ooh. This green car up ahead messes up through turn one, going slowly on the racing line and compromising my entrance into turn three. I misjudge it and I lock up in an effort not to hit anyone. Fucking bell end. With that, we lose another position, but thankfully, the car is okay. With only two laps remaining, I set a 2.21.6, finally breaking out of the 2.22s. Yes! We got into the 21s. This is my prime, this is my peak. We don't get better than this. I'm basically Lewis Hamilton in his glory days. Pace is definitely starting to be there, but it's too late. The best I can do is focus up for these last two laps and see if I can make any positions. Come on. Three laps. No, I can't break too early. I'm starting to finally gain on this car in front of me. On. He makes a slight mistake coming out of three, and we close on him rapidly. I'm gonna have to send it if I wanna overtake this guy. Coming out of seven, I get a poor exit, spinning up the rear wheels. We lose some time, but maybe I can catch him in the draft. Got to make something happen. The white flag is out and we're still gaining, but we're not close enough to make a move yet. We come out of three and clip the curb, slightly throwing off our line and forcing us to lose a bit of pace. Wide on the entrance to six, and we lose so much time. No! Oh no! There goes our chance. And then coming out of seven, we wheel spin it. Ah! Oh. We locked up the rear right, and then wheel spun out the second turn. But with the two cars in front of us still battling, maybe something will go wrong, and we'll get a free position. We come through the final chicane, we gain on them very closely. But unfortunately, they're not running too wide or anything, so there's just not enough of a chance for us to send it. I intentionally run wide on the exit of turn 12, just to see if anything's possible, but we okay. didn't quite get it. We'll take it. Well, that was some proper tiring racing. 19 laps around Road Atlanta in the Porsche Cup. Good fun. We went into that with zero practice. Our setup failed tech. We had to use the fixed one. We were two and a half seconds off pace in quali. I managed to finish the race in 12th. So that is, uh, in my mind, that is a good result. That is one to be happy about.